trial of Alex Jones is underway, but this one is happening here in our state. He's already been found liable for how he covered the Sandy Hook shooting, but a jury now has to decide how much in damages he'll owe. And Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera continues our coverage of day one of Jones's trial. He is live in Waterbury tonight, and Dennis, both sides making their cases clear here. Definitely, Aaron and Mark, you know, through their opening statements, the attorneys for the plaintiffs making it clear that Jones knew what he was doing and that he was making a profit off of that. Meanwhile, the defense team for Jones, they're trying to question the motives of the plaintiffs in this trial. From the beginning of their opening statement, the plaintiff's side built up Alex Jones' philosophy. Because on his show, what he does is he latches onto events in the world and uses them as examples for why the audience should believe him, that there is a plot unfolding to enslave and to kill him. And showed how Jones used that to build an audience, showing how he had nearly half a billion page views by the time the shooting happened, showing a clip of what he said the day tragedy struck Sandy Hook. They are going to come after our guns, look for mass shootings, and then magically it happens. They are coming, they are coming, they are coming. Attorney Chris Maddy saying it shows how he influences people. See the fear. The fear is striking this audience. That they would do this, that they would stage, the government would stage this. He closed on a shot of families of the victims. They didn't even know who Alex Jones was. But he knew who they were. Jones's attorney, Norm Pattis, countered by trying to paint a high damages award as a political weapon. Will they ask for a sum, or are they going to let their lawyers pick the sum? This isn't a casino. You're not clerks at a grocery store selling quick pick tickets. They have the burden of proof, and they have to prove it. To try and silence Jones. All that these parents have suffered does not transform them into oracles that let them determine what you should and should not be able to hear, do, and say. Pattis was objected to several times during his opening statement, which he then made a point that he never made an, an objection during the plaintiffs. Now, later at 6, we start to go into witness testimony, starting with an FBI agent who responded to Sandy Hook the day of the shooting. We're live in Waterbury, Dennis Blair, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.